Welcome back, friends. Today we're going to go over part two of uh, the beat contamination video that I posted last week. So this is going to be a relatively quick one, I think. Uh, we're going to go over the results of our four plates. Uh, we're going to take a look at them and justify whether or not we've reached our goal or what have you. So let's get started. Okay, so in front of me here, I have our four plates and let's go over the control first. All right, so as you can see here, we've got no growth. So that means everything that we've done here, um, we can with pretty good certainty say that the Piopini culture is dead. There's nothing there. Uh, so that is a little bit of unfortunate news, but there's still a takeaway here. I'm going to move that one aside. Let's go over the, the next one. Now we have uh, Piopini mouth. Now this is the plate that I I poured out the Piopini culture and then I took the swab from my mouth. Um, and as you can see, this is not our Piopini culture. Um, however, there's a test that we can do to make sure if we were uncertain, we were like, yeah, it could be. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's not, but we're gonna look at this in a little bit. So we'll set that aside. Here's our Piopini mouth two. This is the diluted version. And as you can see, there is one colony there. Put that one aside. And this is the floor. Now this one is disgusting. Um, floors are dirty, my friends. Um, now, let's say the Piopini control passed. What we could do here now is streak out the exact colony that we wanted. For simplicity, let's say this green one here is the colony that we wanted. We would take uh, a sterile needle or an inoculating loop and we would scratch the surface of that colony and move it to a sterile plate. And again, streak for isolation, just like we did in the first part of the video. Um, looking back here, uh, I wanted to basically touch upon what a colony is and what an, why it's called an isolation. An I, uh, what is it? Not an isolation. An isolate. Okay, so a colony, is when we do that streaking, what we're doing is we're taking the individual microbes, one of them. We want to separate again, one of them. And we're spreading them all over the plate. And that way we're separating it from its friends. We want to get it alone so that we know that that one colony originated from a single microorganism. Um, in the case of liquid cultures, we're trying to separate one cell of mycelium or it could be a small family, right? Sometimes you can't separate them all very easily like you could a bacteria or a yeast. Uh, and that's what happens. You separate it till it's just one and that's why it usually grows in a circle because it grows and expands outward in every direction. Um, you can tell a lot by a colony by its texture, its, um, its color, its formation, whether it's raised, whether it's flat, how deep it goes, what it looks like on the back of the plate as far as the top of the plate. Uh, and that can tell us a lot. And what this tells me is it's all junk. So we're going to put this, this is heavily contaminated. Uh, the, if you see this in your liquid culture, it's probably all over for you. So we're going to move that aside and now we're going to bring back into play our Piopini Mouth 1. I know that, that this is not Piopini, but let's look at it and be doubly sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up, set up four, four slides, I'll label them all PM, for Piopini Mouth and then isolate one, and that's gonna be the big one. So isolate one. We're gonna do dry, wet, stain. Actually, I don't think we need four. I'm gonna put that one aside. All right, so this is gonna be a time-lapse now, probably video moving very quickly, and 
we'll see in a second. Okay, we're back. Uh, here's an image, a close-up of the three sides that we're going to be looking at. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those fancy microscopes where I can show you the screen of exactly what I'm looking at. Um, maybe if funding <laughs> comes in, I can, I can update my channel. But for now, I'll do my best at trying to get pictures from the scope and talking through what's going on here. So first we're going to look at the uh, Pure Peony Mouth Culture Isolate 1. That's this isolate here. We're looking at it, this is dry. Okay, now here we can see the hyphae. That's the makeup of the fungi. All right, here's a good shot. We may be able to use this and correlate it with uh, an organism or a, a genus, maybe a family. Depends. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take it here. This is not easy to do here. That's, that's it. That's the best I'm going to be able to do here. That's what I'm looking at. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to do some voiceover, really analyzing the, that shot. And let's go into that, and then we'll go into the next one. So that was dry. Now this is wet. Again, we're going to do the same procedure, start on a low magnification. Uh, and I'm, I'm seeing here that it's not as good to look at because the water just pushed everything away. It spread it all out. Okay, nothing really good to show you on that one. So, dries the way to go. Now we're looking at the stain. So I used a crystal violet stain, typically found in a gram stain. Uh, I didn't complete the full gram stain because in this case it's not necessary. We just want to brighten it up a little bit. Hmm. There's not a lot of great things. It's just all junk. I'm looking for hyphae. Uh, so I'm looking for structure. Right? Patterns. And all I'm seeing now is kind of chaos. Right, here's what the chaos looks like. Okay, that's what the chaos looks like. There's nothing really to show you there. Okay, this is organic, but there's not a whole lot of detail, and you'll you'll see it in a moment. See that? Okay, so we've looked at the three cultures. Now I'm gonna quickly touch upon, um, do some Googling and find out what exactly it is that we're looking at here. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure, 99%, that it is not Piopini. All right, so we've gone through these these plates and we've determined that um, the culture we're looking for is not there. So if you are in this case, it's a lost cause. You can, you can rest assured knowing that if you throw away this culture, you're not missing anything. Going forward for the experiment, however, I've already got a new culture um, growing and we're going to be doing pink oyster mushrooms. So I'm going to rerun this experiment off camera using the pink oyster mushrooms and then we're going to come back a week from now with a proper, uh, hopefully it'll pass. So you, you can never say for certain that uh, controls will pass. That's why you do controls. So you do a positive and a negative. Um, that way you know for sure, because without that, you just don't know. Um, so we'll, we'll come back, and uh, hopefully by 
uh, the end of the first week of February. Uh, I'll be back and we'll go over the next video. Thanks for watching.